Hello, and welcome to my tutorial series on how to make a collective card game in Unity. In this episode, we're going to add a little block for our mana and two buttons that will allow us to toggle between our turn and our opponent's turn, which will be issued up here, and that every time we click end your turn, it will go to an opponent, which we haven't quite created yet, and then when we hit end opponent, it will flip back to our turn and give us more mana as we play. Let's get started. So right now we hit play and we have our hand right here gets populated with our cards. We have our deck right here. And now what we wanna do is add a feature where we can swap between us and an opponent as to whose turn it is and to have mana available for our play with that. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create and game object for our mana. I'm going to go up here to canvas and we're going to right click and we're going to go down to UI. I'm going to go down to image and this image we're simply just going to call mana and this is just going to be a plain object right now just like other images we can excuse me include a sprite here. Uh, maybe that'll be a little further down the road right now. I'm just going to leave this box now just because as I've said before We're just dealing with functionality. However, just to give it a little bit of an appearance I'll go over here and traditionally mana is blue We'll go down here to maybe this blue color. Is that good? And then we'll take this little black circle here if I can click on it and we'll move it over and our box here will turn blue and that's good enough for me for now. If you want another object here, a little crystal or something, you can put it there. I'll probably put something later on. And so we're going to need some text over this also. And so for right now, I'm going to right click on mana, go down to UI again, go to text. The text is right here. I'm going to center it uh, horizontally and center it vertically. I'll increase, excuse me, increase the font a little bit here. Let's, what happens when I make it 28? That's, or uh, maybe a little smaller than that, maybe 20 is good. That's good for right now. I'll probably change this up a little bit. And in this text, I'll just put zero slash zero for now to show our mana. So now I'm gonna go over to the scene. I'm gonna click on move tool. And I'm gonna move our mana here, just over into the corner for now, until I find a better place for it. And I think that that's just pretty good for now. That's, that's just temporarily. It just it does its job of telling me what I need to know. Also, you know what? I'm going to change this background, actually. I'm going to do the same thing with changing colors. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change it to green. How does that look? I'm going to leave it like that for now, and only because I just want to differentiate some of my colors a little bit. Like I said before, we'll, we'll change the aesthetics later on. So now we're going to go back in our scene. And we're going to go over here to Canvas, and we're going to right-click on it. And we're going to go down to UI, and we're going to create another button. And we're going to call this button Your Turn, just so we know what every button does just straight out. And then in the text, we're simply just going to call it Your Turn. And then we're going to take this button and we're gonna hit control D to duplicate it. And now we're gonna right click again and we're gonna go down to rename and we're gonna call this opponent turn. So there's gonna be a button to hit when it's the player's turn, which is us. And then there's gonna be one for the opponent. So we're going to go ahead and take our buttons and we'll just move them. We'll just move them down here near the mana button for now. So we found another place that's better for them just to keep them out of the way. So we'll put the, the U-turn right above it. Actually, what's the exact component? Is it negative 640, 385? And then, oops, 640 there. Now they're lined up. So now we're going to create a C Sharp script. We're going to right click in our scripts folder. We're going to go over here to create. 
go down to C-sharp script, call our script turn system. But we'll spell system right first. Then we're going to hit enter and we're going to open up this script in Visual Studio. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to declare some variables. We're going to have a public bool. And this public bool is going to be called is your turn. After that, we're going to have a public int. And that's simply going to be called your turn. And then we're going to have a, another public int. And that is going to be called is opponent turn. Semicolon at the end of that. And we're going to have a public text. And the public text is going to be called turn text. And now we're just going to make a couple spaces to separate our next group of variables. These are all going to involve our mana. We're going to have a public int called max mana. Usually in these games, you have a max mana you get when your turn, uh, when it is your turn, you gain a mana and then you have a max mana after so many turns. So then we're going to have a, another public int and that's going to be called current mana. And then we're going to have another public text. And that text is going to be called mana text. So now when we hit start, what we want to do is have some initial conditions or initial things to happen. So we're going to say, is your turn is going to equal to true. So by default, when the game starts, it's your turn and not your opponent's turn. And then your turn is going to equal to one and then your opponent turn well i'm sorry is your opponent turn is going to equal to zero And the next group of things is that the max mana is going to equal to one. And then the current mana is going to equal to one. So that way our max mana and our current mana match when we first start the game. So now that we have all that set up, we actually have to go back into Unity. And something I forgot here was that we want to add another UI element. We just want it to be a simple text. And we're going to call this turn text. And then in here in our turn text, we're simply just going to put the word turn for now. And we'll center it. And we'll center it in that direction. See what it looks like. It's very small. Let's increase the font. What does it look like here? I think we can make it just a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and the size of it a little bit and then we'll make the font let's say 30 35 how does it look it doesn't um for right now i think that's good so we don't have to play with it too much let's just move this actually and we'll just put it we'll just put it over here in the the right hand corner for now so we find a better home for it so now we're going to go back into our script and right here in the update, we're just going to say, if is your turn is equal to true, then the little words up here that we put up here, this, this text, this turn, it's going to say that it's our turn, obviously. Turn, oops, I'm sorry turn text dot text is going to equal your turn at the end put a semicolon and then right here we're going to put an else statement and the else statement is going to be that the turn text 
dot text is going to equal opponent turn and put a semicolon at the end of that. So if, if is your turn equals true, which is what starts the game, then this the words up here will say your turn. And then if otherwise, if it doesn't, then it says the opponent's turn, which makes sense. Okay, next, before we forget, we have to make sure we put using unity engine dot UI, otherwise this text script right here, this text code right here won't work at all. Semicolon at the end of that. And now, our, excuse me, after our update function, we're gonna create another function. We're gonna create a public void and we're gonna call it end your turn. We're gonna put a parentheses and brackets. And then at the end of our turn, when we push the button, it's going to make uh, is your turn equal to false. And then is opponent turn is going to be the plus equal to one. So it's going to add one to the opponent's mana. And then we're going to create another public void. And then we're going to call that end just call that end opponent turn and these these are a bit uh the names i'm choosing for some of these things might might be a little lengthy but it's so you can keep track of what's going on because we are going to be writing lots of code so in that one is your turn is going to be equal to true because after your opponent ends his turn then it's going to be your turn and then your turn is going to be plus equal plus equal one and then the max mana is going to also be plus equal to one and then the current mana is going to equal our max mana and we'll put a semicolon at the end of that all right so now we want to spell the word mana right and one last thing we have to add it was right here in our update function is that we want to make sure we got use of our mana text dot text and that's going to equal to current mana plus quotation marks forward slash and then after that plus max mana and then a semicolon so that way that our mana text is going to print the numbers for the current mana and the max mana with the slash in between when it gets updated so we're going to hit save for that we're going to go back into unity I'm going to start putting all this together. The first thing we need is a, another empty game object. And we're going to call this turn system. And to this turn system, we're just going to add the script turn system. And now here we have a slot for our mana text that we created in our script. We're going to go, actually, I'm going to go over here first. And I'm going to rename this so there's no confusion with all the words that are up here. So we'll make sure to call that mana text. So here, oh wait, let's change the name of this. I, I hit the semicolon at the end of that. There we go. So here, back to business is our mana text. We're gonna take that and we're gonna drop it right into our mana text. And the other text we want is our turn text we created right here. We're gonna drop that right there into turn text. Now we're going to activate our buttons. We're going to go down here on click list is empty. Hit plus grab our turn system game object, drop it in there. And now it's going to access all the things of that game object. And now we have that turn system script. And then 
we're going to make this end your turn. Actually, that would have been a better name for that. Let's just fix that real fast. Let's, where is it here? Oh, it's right there. So we'll change the text of this to end your turn. That makes a little more sense. And the other one will be end opponent turn. Because it lines up with the script. And now in this opponent turn, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go down here. List is empty. Grab our turn system game object. Go over here to no function. Go to turn system down here. End your opponent term. And, and these things right here are right here are the functions we created down here. That's what those are. That's what we're accessing through the this click feature here that's automatically into the button. So I believe that is everything. Let's see how this works out. Let's hit play. We have our hand populating with our random cards, or not random cards, they're chosen from our deck. Now when we go over here and I hit end your turn, now it goes to the opponent turn like we want. And now we have now given me, or actually we haven't given me anything. It won't, it won't update that till I hit end opponent term. Now it goes to two. Now it's my turn. So every time I, I have a turn, it's giving me more mana. Then I'm going to go back to the opponent turn. I'm going to hit it again. And it's going to update my current and max mana here for when I play my cards. So that's it for today. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and support me on Patreon. A big special thanks to all my Patreon supporters. All links are in the description below. See you next time.